With an official weight of 51.75 kilograms, a record. Nine fights, six wins, two losses with one draw. Fighting out of Brunswick, ladies and gentlemen, Spring Sia! And across the ring, her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Don Miller, out of the Super Fight Gym, an official weight of 51.80 kilograms. A fight record, seven fights, four wins, three losses, and fighting out of St. Kilda, ladies and gentlemen, Samsara Ranga! Wow. Those fighters right through Ramon. Exactly, wow. with the blue, Somsara with the red. It'll be interesting to see how the ladies adapt to the uh, longer rounds. You'll probably see a slower pace fight if they're smart, just to, oh, look at that right kick. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that beautiful right kick, and then Somsara, <laughs> she smiled so politely. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, here we go, left, right, left, right. Trading uh, right leg kicks. there from spring. Oh, and a fall. Right, another right kick there from Song. Uh, Song. It's almost like a, a nervous smile on the on the face of Somsarat. It'll be uh, 
as we go through the rounds but from both girls what I've seen in the past with their fighting they're actually quite good clinches as well so I think as we start to progress throughout the fight maybe towards a later end three four five you might see these girls clinch quite a bit that right that right kick working wonders for Sam at the moment did a good job to stay on her feet right now and there you go you've called it Andrew into the clinch as promised Trevor uh, asking Tom Surratt not to get uh, tied up on the, on the ring, on the ropes, I should say. Oh, here we go. There's the takedown. Very well done. He's copying a little warning there from Trevor about the steps. Two steps with the catch court leg, I should say. Is that international now, Andrew? Two steps or...? Yeah, in uh, WMC rules, it's two steps and strike. Yep. So, so please, please explain that again, Andrew. What exactly...? In World Muay Thai Council rules, yep. uh, once the leg's caught, you need to... Uh, you can only walk two steps without making a strike. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Is that right kick? Another right kick as well, just edging up the points. And, and you get here just from in the corner. And uh, Don Miller at Superfight Gym just telling his fighter to uh, probably stay away a little bit and just play on the outside a little without trying to get too uh, caught up on the inside and getting tired early on. It's a long fight. More of a, uh, a test match rather than a 2020 battle, this one. That's it. Well, I've been asking for five round fights all evening, so here we have finally yeah. getting it. <laughs> Round one. Yeah, good first round there for Somsara. Good start from Somsara. There you go. Right Another one comes back from uh, Sia. I'm just having a look at some of those highlights. A very effective round there for Somsara. Yep. Beautiful right kick there. Well blocked from Spring. Cheeky little tape took out of there. The, uh, I think the girls will really enjoy their uh, two minute break as well. So as the fight pushes up to a five, three minute battle, that two minute break makes such a big difference too. There you have it. Tom Surratt sitting. There's Spring Seer in her corner. We'd like to remind everybody of Sunini Pizza over the back of the venue, serving some great food. If you're out there in general, make sure you grab yourself some pizza. Also the coffee is being made out of that. Weight title up for grabs. Good, strong first round from Somsarat. I think uh, Chris Cortez up at uh, Marshall Spirit Gym may be telling Spring to pick it up a little bit in this round. Uh, see how it pans out. Nice tip to the face there from Som. Spring Sears, she's controlled the tempo of the fight in the first round and the second round, but Somsa has certainly been a lot more effective, I think, with her scoring shots, Andrew. Yeah, very composed this spring, but uh, I think she just needs to really... She's defending quite well, but she needs to fire back and then some clean shots as well. Nice little takedown. And Somsa really hit the, hit the deck hard there. What is the effect, both physically and mentally, when you are taken down. Of course, you've never been taken down, but for somebody else that might be just taken down, Andrew. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Uh, again, like, uh, mentally, you know, it's not good always ending up on your butt, but uh, also physically it's tiring, you know, you're falling yep. down the mat and having to get back up again every time it takes it out of you, so. The world's worst burpee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Into the clinch. Trevor's got to separate them out. Just missing the right kick counter. Nice team. Nice left hand, left leg there from uh, Spring. Spring pressing forward. Oh, big right hand. You hear that one? A uh, right oh, kick. Sorry. That Beautiful. gave me. That gave me indigestion. <laughs> 
working a treat for Solomon at the moment. Really, at the moment, Spring Seer hasn't really done anything that's troubled Somserat at all. No, no not at all. Not at all. But like you said, I mean, if Somserat's throwing the, throwing the energy now, come round three, four, five, we may find that Spring can spring back. Oh, another right kick there. Struggling to find the rhythm. Som's doing a good job using the tee and the jab to uh, offset it a little bit. Having said that, Spring is controlling where the where the fight's taking place. The fact that Som's actually beating her. Yes. That goes to show, so you don't need to be walking forward to win a fight. So that right kick, you could see right there, Som, uh, Spring actually winced when that right kick came through. Absolutely. I don't know if her left shin's hurt or not, but she really winced when she tried to check that kick. It'll be interesting to see how that progresses throughout the fight. And of course, if Som is picking away at her, her ability to move forward, backwards and laterally is going to be compromised. Oh, another right kick. Some nice hands there from Spring. That's going to run number two. That was some really slick uh, ring craftsmanship from uh, Som in that later half of that round, like you said. There's that right kick. Either she winced on that uh, kick down. I'm not sure if she's carrying an injury going into this fight or not on that left shin. Uh, icing it a little bit in the corner as well. Well caught and taken down there. But, uh... And I'm always impressed by fighters, particularly, I'm talking about Spring here particularly, how they rem uh, remain so poker faced. Yeah. I just, I, I don't know how they do it. I feel like, look at that shot. Yeah, Spring's a really determined fighter. I've always enjoyed watching her fight. I've watched her fight on, um, on some of the other shows. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how, how she comes through uh, pushing forward out of 3-4-5 in this fight too. Whether she's uh, holding back a little bit or whether the timing's a little bit of a thing for her. Struggling to find a range and rhythm a little bit. But uh, we'll see how we go. Trevor Lawler being very thorough. Fantastic ref. Nice opening from Som. Spring steps in. Here we go. The, yeah, yeah. Interesting to see if uh, Spring starts to try and uh, put some pressure on in the clinch now. Som holding her own there, looking quite strong too. Both girls compete for uh, dominant positions in the clinch there. It's one thing, you know, the, the super fight fighters, they're always well drilled in the clinch. They really are. Don Miller screaming some instructions to Som. Telling her to move around and stay away from the clinch. I think they know what's about to come. Spring scores a beautiful takedown. That was um, another heavy fall to the floor for Som. Yep. Now, typically, knee fighters won't really start to put the pressure on until rounds three, four, and five, because if they put it on too early, then they uh, can get a little bit tired too quick as well. Nice left knee there from Som. Another right kick. See how she's wincing into that block? Absolutely, yeah. But I'll tell you what, she doesn't take a step back with step. Like, Spring just keeps moving forward. She does. Som's Great got knees. a real nice neck lock on there, real deep. And Som's throwing some really nice knees here, Andrew. Big breath from Spring Seer. Yeah. Beautiful team from Spring Seer. Oh, beautiful right kick right in the forearms there. And the left side, the left flank side of Spring Seer is looking very red, as is her um, upper left arm. Yep. Oh, even in the clinch, Tom's really showing some strength. That stint in Thailand, I think, has done her a world of good. She's showing a new level of class, new level of strength. Let's see if uh, she continues to uh, push that through. And certainly, with the Somsrat being just a little bit less experienced, you couldn't tell at all in this fight. Nice evasion there. Needed a counter, though. Needed something big to counter with. Oh, Which is what we were talking about before, Andrew. It's... it's... It's so critical in the scoring side of things. Nice left kick. Oh, beautiful catch there from Spring. She lost her balance though. Crowd is absolutely going wild here at the St. Gilla Town Hall here at Rebellion Point. 
That is the end round at number three. Down. Three down, two to go. All right. So here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Run for it, run last, bring the sea. Into the replay. Shout out to John Demicoli. We love you, John. <laughs> this sob's got uh, spring wrapped up in the corner there. Beautiful knee. I think, guys, it's fair to say at the moment, Som's controlling this fight. Yeah. Just landing the clean shot. Like, that was a really nice take down there from Spring. That really was. Uh, but the, you know, when we're looking at which shots are landing, um, it looks like Spring is just struggling a little bit with the rhythm. Um, she's throwing shots, but they're just a little bit off target, whereas uh, Som's re like, really landing some nice kicks. Um, even when she's blocking that right kick, she's in pain when she's blocking. So uh, whether it's the kick itself or a pre-existing fit, still not quite sure. But uh, we'll see how they go. If they go to work on that, maybe come in the last two rounds. And that's it. Like the answer, the answer's going to be in front of our eyes within a few seconds, really, or a few minutes, really, isn't it? Solstrat looking very composed. That retaliation point five is TrentonVitamins.com. And we love you, John. Now, come on, we can John Brookie Curtis, Nicholas Mara, Andrew Parnham. I need the best here at Rebellion. We're giving a little bit of shade throwing and throwing at it from across the ring from John Demacoli. <laughs> Round four. Thank you to John Demacoli, the other Demacoli brother. <laughs> so round four, the penultimate round. At the moment, we've got Spring. See her behind on the cards. She's really got to bring it home. Andrew, we know Don's very traditional tie, and would normally say the first round doesn't count. But his girl came out and just dominated in the first round. Yep. Timing on that left kick there. He, like I said, Muay Thai is not just about going forward and who's the most aggressive. The aggression points don't count here. Like she's on the back foot, moving away. Full works, beautiful scoring on the back foot. So uh, this That's is a it. really good example of someone winning off the back foot. And you're right, like some some threat just standing there. Spring just keeps coming to her and then copying it. What we're not seeing in this fourth round is the big smile on Somsa right now. She's got the serious <laughs> yeah. face on. Yeah. All business now. Um, Fatigue-wise, they're both kind of handling the, the extra minutes well. Um, I, five threes is sometimes easy. You've got a bigger break, and the, the two minutes is a really nice break. Five twos with a one minute can be really hard, Yaka. I'm going to take your word for it. <laughs> Johnny Miller just asking Song just to chip away at the midsection. Put a very high and sort of open guard. Um, spring C, which leaves her midsection open for, for targeting. I think that's what Don was calling for. Certainly that right kick of uh, Spring, oh, I beg your pardon, of Sumsera oh. has been telling, and um, I don't think Spring's liking it at all. little feints and lots of little tricks on the with the footwork if you look at the legs of uh, Simon she's moving back she's constantly changing between orthodox and southpaw feigning lifting the leg up and it's causing uh, spring to react a little bit and that's why she, how she's able to land those real nice kicks on the way in because uh, spring can't decide she can't choose which leg that she can't see which legs coming up and that was another right kick that came in beautifully there from Som. Som spring see her around pushes her up against the ring and Trevor Miller will move the girls back into the centre of the ring. Big breath from Som. I'll tell you what, that right kick must have really punished Spring because every time Som launches it, Spring jumps into yeah. action. Like she literally springs up into the air to defend it. Seconds down. Nice left kick there, caught well, no counter. And again. Left in a round number four.
What remains is WMC Victoria and Carl Fine. Another solid round there. Another solid Absolutely. round. Absolutely. So we've been waiting for spring to pull out all the stops to instigate some kind of attack strategy, but it just doesn't seem to be happening. Nah, Somsarat's really dominated this fight so far, and you know, I don't, nothing short of the KO really, I think, is going to get Spring yep. back at this stage. They see Trevor Lawler keeping close eye on the action, and there it was, Som just keeps spinning Spring into the ropes and dominating those clinches. So here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. History is being formed this evening in the form of a five by three minute full tie rail, full tie rules bout for the WMC Junior Band and Weight title of Victoria. Sum up. Don's looking very composed. So if Don's looking composed, he knows his fight is ahead. Uh, he's even got new shoes on today too. Big shout out to uh, Keith for sponsoring the Air Max 90s for tonight. Thank you, Keith. The Platters. Touch Gloves. This is the third. And the fifth and final round. And a special message to Keith. Keith, I take a size 11. Oh, okay, here we go. Bring the back. Fifth and final round. Bring at a solid right kick to start the round, man. Here we go, right kick. We got a sold out show, and every single person in this place is screaming for this fight. Andrew, when, when you, you're in the corner and someone like Springs, you've got her down on the cards, what do you say to your fighter coming in with the final round? Don't be silly. When you're ahead, don't be silly, but cement the round. Really try and uh, make sure it's yours, but don't do anything silly. Make sure you get the basics right. I want to see Spring fire first. Oh, nice right kick too. So I'm just trying to uh, keep a distance even more this round. She's uh, head on point, so I think she's just going to try and dance around a little bit. Good teeth there from Springs here. Beautiful oh, teeth there from right Springs. to the face. Yo, Anderson Silva. Big left knee, big stabbing knee. Even left her there just to let her know. Of course, we've got the best photographer in the country too, William Liu, snapping oh. away at that. I tell you what, he would have caught that teeth on the chin. Flush. <laughs> Can't wait to see that one. There you go. Song breathing very heavily now, as she should be in this fifth and final round. Right nice body shot. So focused is Song, and I mean, both the girls, you can see, they're, they're really paying attention to their corners. The, the old subtle little look back to the corners we just saw. Yep. Spring just dumped off. Back into the clinch, nice knees for both girls. Now, this is the first round where, we, where we've actually seen Som push the pace and actually have Spring Seer on the back foot. That's it. I think it's going to be too little too late from Spring. Spring looks over. Wrong corner. Spring looks over at the wrong corner. Maybe she, maybe she thinks she should take instruction from Don. One of the seconds. And Sob just boring on the power here. Crowd's going absolutely ballistic. Big fan base for both girls. Sob's fans are losing it here. <laughs> absolutely. Final 10 seconds. WMC Junior Bantamweight title will be going to the home of Superfight Jim. 
Ladies in the fight, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Fight fans across Australia and shooting it around the world. That was the WFC Junior Band and Weight Big Title. Let's go to the replay. Yeah, the crowd absolutely loved that one, but Sobs are up just dominated from the opening bell in that first round. Yep. Yeah, she really put on a masterclass tonight and uh, you know, credit to Spring. Um, the Spring's been in fine form of late, but maybe that recent trip to Thailand did some a world of good and you, know, you can see from the results, full work was good, um, countering was good, clinch was good, all around polished performance from Sop. Absolutely, and as you said, Andrew, <laughs> Sop was just so careful with all those fakes to keep Spring just guessing as to what was going to happen next. And that right body kick, I'll tell you what, that was probably the one shot that cost Spring the most throughout that fight. Spring just didn't seem to have power or strategy, apart from moving forward and then getting caught. Sob's bouncing around like she's ready for round 67. Oh. She just wants to bleed. <laughs> yeah. like, There's one for the history books, boys. Five by threes for the ladies. Respect to the ladies yeah, up here at Rebellion Muay Thai. Shout out to Hisham Shamrock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Declaring the winner via unanimous point decision and a new WMC Junior Bantamweight Victorian Champion, Red Corner, Sam Sura Ronga! No surprises there, guys. A dominating performance there from Sam Sura. Commiserations to Spring Sea of it. I tell you what, the crowd absolutely loving this, and it's just it's great to see women's Muay Thai here in Australia in such good hands as well. Absolutely, Bushy, I couldn't have said it better myself. Songs, Africana, Wellness, and that's that.